providing the right volume of milk. Almost all small babies need to be supplemented by cup or feeding tube to gain weight well until they reach 2,500 grams. A baby needs a gradually increasing volume of milk for best growth. This video will show how to determine the volume of milk a baby should receive over time by feeding tube or cup and how to evaluate whether the baby is tolerating the volume he's getting. The volume of milk to feed a small baby is determined by the baby's age and weight and is gradually increased over time. Our baby weighed 1,700 grams at birth. Record his weight in his growth chart, then fill in his feeding volumes at the bottom of the chart. Here's how. Consult the feeding volume table for the first six days of life. Our 1700 gram baby will need 8 milliliters at each feed on day 1, 12 milliliters on day 2, 16 on day 3, 20 on day 4, 24 on day 5, and 28 on day 6. On day 7, calculate the baby's feeding volume based on his birth weight. An easy way to calculate is to take the first two numbers and double them. The baby's feeding volume on day 7 will be 34 milliliters every 3 hours. In other words, he will need 34 milliliters at each of his 8 feeds on day 7. After day 7, increase 1 milliliter per feed each day. Most small babies will tolerate and grow well with this simple daily increase. Let's explain this more carefully. On day 7, give the baby 34 milliliters at each feed. From then on, add 1 milliliter per feed each day. This means that on day 8, the baby will get 35 milliliters. He'll get the same amount at each of his 8 feeds. On day 9, he will get 36 milliliters at every feed. And on day 10, 37 milliliters at every feed, and so on. Give the full volume of milk if the baby is not yet breastfeeding well, and really only getting milk by feeding tube or cup. Give the baby half the feeding volume by cup or tube if he's breastfeeding well, but for less than 10 minutes at each feed. Keep in mind that with cup feeding, a little milk can spill, so be sure to add a few more milliliters to the feeding volume. The baby no longer needs extra feeding if he feeds well by breast for more than 15 minutes at each feed is gaining weight, is content between feeds, and has frequent yellow stools, four or more each day. Most small babies will gain well by increasing one milliliter per feed per day. But if the baby is not gaining weight, increase to two milliliters per feed per day. This means the baby will take 39 milliliters every 3 hours today and 41 milliliters every 3 hours tomorrow. Continue to increase by 2 milliliters per feed per day until the baby starts to gain weight. Then return to the usual increase of 1 milliliter per feed per day. Most small babies will tolerate increasing by 1 milliliter per feed per day, 
But if the baby spits up a little milk, he may be getting too much. In that case, go back to the volume the baby tolerated two days before. This means we will now feed our baby 36 milliliters at each feed today. If he tolerates that amount, then slowly increase by one milliliter per feed per day. So tomorrow, he will get 37 milliliters at each feed, and the next day, 38 milliliters at every feed, and so on. If he ever spits up again, return to the volume two days before. While many healthy small babies spit up a little milk now and then, a small baby with repeated vomiting, especially with a green bile color, likely has a serious feeding intolerance. The baby may also have a distended abdomen that may be tender, bloody stools, or diarrhea. These babies are having problems and should be referred urgently for advanced care. If the baby still needs to be supplemented when he's ready for discharge, make a feeding plan with the mother. See the baby twice a week until he reaches 2 kilos and once a week until he has 2.5 kilos. Adjust the feeding plan according to the baby's weight and progress with breastfeeding. Remember, feeding volumes for the first six days of life are taken from a chart based on the baby's age and weight. On day seven, calculate the volume by doubling the first two numbers of the baby's birth weight then add one milliliter per feed per day after that. The small baby needs a gradually increasing volume of milk for adequate weight gain. <laughs>